Replica AI is a popular generative AI software designed to create personalized conversations. But before you decide to buy, here are 12 things you need to know. With so many options out there, like ChatGPT or other virtual assistants, how does Replica compare? And is it the right choice for you? Next thing, Replica's primary feature is its ability to form deep, meaningful conversations with its users. It promises emotional support and companionship, something that sets it apart from standard chatbots. However, while its ability to simulate emotional connection can feel real, it's not quite as advanced in delivering nuanced responses as some competitors, like ChatGPT, which pulls from a more vast and varied database. The third thing to note is that Replica offers different subscription tiers. The free version allows you to interact with the AI, but to unlock more features like voice calls or extra personality options, you'll need to pay for the pro version. This isn't unique to Replica as many AI tools offer a free version, but lock premium features behind a paywall, similar to what you'd find with tools like Jasper AI. Moving on, one major downside to Replica is that its responses can sometimes feel repetitive. While it's designed to learn from you and improve its conversation skills, it still has some limitations. Unlike other AIs that are powered by more expansive data models, like ChatGPT, Replica can sometimes fall short when it comes to handling more complex questions or discussions. Next thing, Replica isn't always the best at handling difficult or sensitive topics. While it's designed to offer emotional support, some users report that the AI struggles to provide meaningful advice when faced with challenging situations. This could be frustrating if you're looking for something more reliable or insightful compared to AI companions from platforms like Wobot, which is specifically built for mental health support. The fifth thing you should know is that Replica can simulate a wide range of personalities. Whether you want a supportive friend, a mentor, or even a romantic partner, you can customize how Replica interacts with you. But this can sometimes lead to issues where it feels like you're having a conversation with an overly idealized version of a person rather than a genuine AI companion. Now, let's talk about security. Replica takes your privacy seriously and all your conversations are encrypted. However, as with any online service, there's always a slight risk. Replica does store chat logs. And although it's clear about how it uses data, it's still something to consider if you're concerned about privacy. The seventh thing to be aware of is Replica's ability to generate art. This feature is a newer addition where Replica can create digital images based on your conversations or preferences. It's a fun feature, but it's still in its early stages and the quality can be hit or miss compared to more established AI art generators like DAL-E. The eighth thing is that Replica is designed to be available 24-7 making it a convenient companion for anytime chats. However, this availability can sometimes be a double-edged sword. Since it's always on, you might find yourself leaning on it more than you expect, which can impact your personal relationships or even your mental health if you become too reliant. The ninth point is that while Replica is great for casual conversation, it doesn't have the same level of integration with other software that some users might expect. For example, you won't be able to integrate it with tools like Google Calendar or other productivity apps, which is something that platforms like Microsoft's Copilot are starting to offer. The tenth thing to mention is that Replica's AI isn't perfect at emulating real human interaction. There are times when it can misinterpret your intent or provide responses that seem completely off topic. This is where ChatGPT and other advanced conversational models still have the upper hand as they're better at understanding context. The 11th thing is that Replica is constantly evolving. While this can be a good thing, it also means that some users may experience bugs or features that don't always work as expected. If you're someone who wants a polished experience, you might find this a bit frustrating compared to other more stable platforms. Finally, let's talk about Replica's community features. It's not just you and the AI. You can also interact with other users in a shared space. This adds a social element to the platform, but it also means your conversations may be exposed to other users, which can be a downside if you prefer privacy.